Okay, vacation vlog, guys. Say hi, vlog. <laughs> like, let's look at Titus. Some things in life never change. He always, ever since he's a little bitty, picks the blue ice cream. He gets it all over his face. And somehow, <laughs> it goes all over him. Like, lick your lips. I don't think it's going to matter. His tongue is blue. Well, it shouldn't be on your chin. Okay, so we drove down to Dallas last night. Caught our flight from Dallas to Orlando today at noon. We flew on Spirit Airline. What do we think of Spirit? Yeah. United's better. It wasn't too bad. It just, everything extra cost. But we were like right up at front in line when they did seat assignments. So we all got to sit by each other on the way here. Hopefully on the way back we can do that again. So we didn't pay extra to pick our seats. You got to pay for a water or a snack on the flight. Um, you got to pay for a carry-on. You got to pay for a check bag. Uh, you do get one personal item though. So it was, it was okay. But I think next time we'll probably fly one of the big names. So we are at Cocoa Beach. Our port is just down the road. Dan is looking for Titus a bucket hat. Is that what you're looking for? Yep. So he's in the store looking for that. We got Tatum some shoes. We forgot a few things because we were kind of in a hurry to pack and get out of get out of town. So yeah. So how are you feeling about day one? Good. 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 We're getting ready to walk down to the beach. Made it. Yep. We are. So I should have got to Dan and Titus's sale pass for whatever reason. It's not showing up, so they had to go back to line. And we're waiting on them. What do you think? I'm excited. You take your pictures. Excited. It's ginormous, isn't it? Yeah. Is it bigger than you thought? Don't. I mean. I saw one at Cozumel. Oh, that's true. Did we walk this next to it? Yeah, we were right next to it. Okay, guys, we got them on. They got their their passes. How you feeling? Feeling good? What do you think about this giant thing? We're at the Royal Promenade. We've checked into our room. We've ate lunch. Now we're ready to get some exploring done. This is in the background is the Royal Promenade parts of it. There's lots of shops and good things to go see. They kick things off with a big deck party set sail, the horn blast a few times, and then that's the signal that Okay, we're gonna race that sail. There we go.
Okay, here you have to be able to guide the skim board back and forth. And once you can do that, then they'll give you a wristband to be able to do, to try the stand up and the surfing. Dan passed the skimboarding. It's his first try on the stand up. Keeps pushing back the wrong way, but he's getting there. He's wakeboarded for years and years, so he's kind of thinking it's similar. And then he has also snowboarded and he has wake surfed out on the lake. This is a lot different. The board is kind of small for his feet. So he's thinking he might have needed a little bit bigger of a board, but he gets it. He's doing, he's doing pretty good, a little wobbly. <laughs> he's gonna make it. Had to cut all the music in the background out because um, they, have, they have music playing and we didn't wanna get flagged for copyright. He's getting better. He's getting it a little wobbly still, but he's getting it figured out how to control it. He's kind of stiff. <laughs> I'm proud of him though. He kept trying. He was, this was his goal for the whole week to get this thing figured out. Can't wait till you check out the next videos and see how he does. He improves big time. It's Titus's turn. He passed the skimboarding. Now he's ready to try surfing. Let's see how he does. Okay, they wanted him to try switching feet with the other side forward, see how he does. He's doing much better with that. And he catches on really quick. He does good at it. Try it out and then I'll get one of the potatoes. Yeah, right, don't tell me what. Show it to me. <laughs> now, what is it? I don't know. Some kind of cheese. What'd you say about it? <laughs> it tastes like how a puppet smells. <laughs> so, so old and musty. <laughs> The acrobats here with the Blue Planet show were phenomenal. So fun to watch. We enter, so we have this, this is literally inside the doorway. This is the bathroom. 
is, we have a king size bed here. Got little nightstands on both sides. We have a closet with a safe. All rooms have a safe in it. And then this one has a little vanity and a sofa here. And there's some drawers over there. It's not a lot of room in these. And there's not a ton of plugins. So they do have this, but it won't fit our phones. And then we brought a power strip because our friends at Fowler Farms reminded us that there's not very many plugins. Thank you, Fowler family, for that. That was a great heads up. Another thing we didn't realize that people do is bring on their own drinks. Like we saw several people carrying packages of Cokes and um, Sprites, things like that. And you have a refrigerator, you can stick that in there. And then we did, we have done, not with our kids, this is our kids first cruise, but with my parents, when I was younger, we shared a room with four of us and it was, pretty tight so it was a twin and a twin bunk bed and then same over here we did an adjoining room this is Tatum and Titus's room so they have two twin beds so their room set up opposite of ours what do you think Titus tight quarters yeah <laughs> Oh my Atlanta. 
Oh, it did not. No, it Titus, good. how was yours? It kind of hurt. It kind of hurt? It kind of hurt. That's what it was. It's out on the floor. See how big it is from the point of view. See if you got it. Yeah. That's the tube we slid through. Had to clear the water. What'd you think? Fun. You like it? Yeah. It's a pretty cool place, huh? Yeah, it was fun. Plus well, fun. So we did that. Then it started raining on us. We got all the oh, what one one slide in. Yeah. We got to see all the aquarium, go down to the beach. So now heading back to the boat. Look at this back to the bag. This was a welcome back aboard show that they had going and it was kind of a pirates versus I'm really not sure <laughs> what it was, but it was a good little parade that they had through the Royal Promenade right through the center of the ship. Several cast members, crew members come out and they do several songs and walk around. They have these little boats. It was super cute and fun to watch. It was good entertainment as we got back on after a day at Nassau. Had to cut out the music on it too, but it had its own, its own music going the whole time. Tatum's living her best life. She's trying all the desserts. <laughs> These are not good. Okay. We all tried them. We're getting ready to watch Mama Mia and we are super excited. We can't film it, but we are pumped. Are y'all ready? Phenomenal show. Mama Mia was really good. It was not the same as the movie. There was a few, like, um, they said the H word. And then, uh, what, what else? There was just a little bit more like alluding to things, you know, that was a little disappointing. The music was really good. They did get on that part, but I was like, this is, this is a family show. <laughs> Do you need to add that in? The Oh, we saw another show at the very beginning of the cruise the first night. It was really good. It was Blue Planet. Yep. That one was, really good with really good music like a lot of music like we knew we just didn't know what blue planet was all about but that was good as far as comparing all-inclusive entertainment and cruise entertainment like shows wise the cruises definitely have that beat with that diving and the ice skating and just the musicals we have not checked out the comedy shows we figured those might be a little raunchy that's it's not really and older what it said on there. So oh, then yeah, I definitely didn't want, not want to see that. 
so we did not check that part out but um the food has been amazing the service has been amazing there's been a lot of changes in the last what 17 years since we've been on a cruise yep. yeah but it's still good this this ship has a lot of good exciting things on it a lot of it's not boring for sure well that was our first day getting into florida and then our day at starting out on the ship and then our day at nassau and we had a lot of fun the ship had lots of things to do and nassau was good did you feel like you got enough done in nassau yeah yeah i think so started raining on us so then that's when we kind of headed back to the ship but it was still good we enjoyed it lots of fun water slides uh the atlantis hotel on paradise island it's just over the bridge from nassau is beautiful that's where the aquarium was and those water slides and then we got to go to the beach it was pretty cloudy by that point but the water was perfect tatum got to see her real pretty water what'd you think fun did you like pretty. was yeah. the water everything you dreamed of yep <laughs> every time we've gone to mexico oh there's the kitty i was wondering where she's been the animals have missed us every time we've gone to mexico Millie. we have Millie. had a lot Millie. of seaweed and so one of the things that tatum wanted to see was real pretty clear water was that the real pretty clear water yeah yeah so yeah, Nassau and, well, the Bahamas, period. They just have really pretty blue water. All of it was just good stuff. The um, the food, what do we think of the dining? People liked it, it was good. <laughs> so it was really good. And our waiter, his name was John, he did an amazing job. So yeah, we hope you enjoy. And then we'll have part two coming up soon. God bless.